Okay, guys, let's talk about the, uh, the about the rib cage. Rib cage definition to me is from the bottom of my ribs to the top of my head or the moon or sun or whatever's up. Uh, what people don't understand is that the rib cage has got to move laterally. Okay, take it, take take this, and you know we talked about throwing the club back here. Well, the rib cage when you do that has got to it's got to move laterally to do that. It can't spin and do that. It's got to move laterally. See, see the movement? I'm moving it this way to throw that club that way. It's got to move laterally first before you, the rotation begins. If you add rotation first, all kind of bad things happen. So that's the sequence. Get the rib cage moving laterally first, then add the rotation that's necessary to get to get the job done okay that's as simple as i can put it so that's one thing they it's got to move lateral the rib cage also moves around the spine okay it rotates around the spine another thing that it creates is side bend okay it creates side bend and i'm talking about on your left side and on your right side Okay, so if I want to do a takeaway, I throw the club back there. Okay, now then I'm getting side bend on my left side. Okay, see what I'm saying? So I just throw the club back there, but I make sure that this moves laterally first and then throw it back. Now I've got side bend on the lead side. Now I want side bend on the right side coming back to the ball. Okay, to do that, you got to take whatever you have here in your turn, and you got to move it laterally in that direction. That's your sit. See what I'm saying? You move it a little bit that way, and then you can come back, and that develops a side bend on the right-hand side. It's that simple. Okay? But I'm telling you, if you don't stand in front of a mirror and do this, and do it in the sequence that I just showed you. You got to have lateral movement first with with the, with the rib cage. Then you can add the rotation. You cannot do the rotation first and then and then laterally move with your with your rib cage. It, it, it just doesn't work. Okay. So y'all go out and try that. But well, don't go out. No one can take this. What I just showed you that had never done this before, throw balls out and start hitting balls doing what I just showed you. You can't do it, you're just not good enough. You have got to develop the movement of getting this chest moving laterally, then turning the rotation, get it moving laterally, then the rotation, then the sit, and that's really going laterally with, with the uh, rib cage again, and then the turn. Okay, that's, that's the sequence that you gotta have. Once you understand, once you put this thing across your, across your uh, chest and start doing that, you'll start feeling, okay, well, hell, the damn pressure's going to my right side. Okay, now then I'm going to turn. The pressure's really on my right side. Now then I'm going to sit or drive the rib, rib cage that way. I'm sitting, now then, all the pressure is going back on my left leg. Now I've driven it that way with, with lateral rotation of my rib cage. Now I can turn, and when you start turning, you'll even feel more pressure. That's the break. Okay? So I beg you, <laughs> don't go out and try to do what I just showed you in full speed because you may hurt yourself. Because a lot of you, I'd say 99% of you, have never used the muscles that I just showed you that it takes to do what I just showed you to do. So try that, and then uh, I'll be back with some more later. Hope that helped. Bye.